Every year, Make-A-Wish North Dakota grants wishes to children facing critical illnesses. But what is it like to receive a wish? We talk with the family of eight-year-old Asen Huck. Born with a rare genetic disorder, Ace recently completed a 10-hour surgery on his brain with hopes of alleviating the worsening seizures. Before that story, before that surgery, he and his family got a wish from Make-A-Wish North Dakota. And here's more on how things are today. I found that box of stuff from Make-A-Wish and I took that out and I was like, I don't know if he's going to like this. And he looked down and picked it up and I don't think he's <laughs> put it down. <laughs> you love your cube. That's <laughs> you. Watching the pontoon reveal was a lot of fun. Getting to see that. I know you were interviewed that day, but now that a little time has gone by, what was that experience like being part of Make a Wish, now being part of the Make a Wish family and receiving such an incredible gift? Well, I think when we first got the pontoon, it was like we'd drive up and say, wow, this is unreal. <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> That's our driveway? <laughs> and um, Ela and I have just spent a lot of time sitting in the pontoon <laughs> in the driveway. Ela, how about you? What are you excited about with this pontoon and getting to see your brother on it? I think just making new memories as the days go on and watching him grow and it's really when you get to see the real lively Asen come out and it's when you get to see his real personality. You never see him so excited. You know, you would think he's getting a trip to Disney World every day. I mean, just going in the water, even bath time every single day, like every time he gets a bath, he just he just wants it. And I think it's just relaxation. He just washing his hands and anything to deal with water. He just loves it. And just seeing a smile on his face just puts a smile on mine. They were very adamant about, they're like, we really, really want to grant Asen his wish before the surgery because it's important to, to us for him to have something to look forward to after the surgery. And that was huge. Um, and it was, we talked about the pontoon that week as he's recovering, we're like, dude, guess what we're gonna get to do? We get to go back home and we get to go on the pontoon this summer. One of the things with it being in the hospital, there were many families that we would meet up with in the cafeteria area or in the coffee area. And one of the parents that was there, you know, I asked her, I said, you know, how long have you guys been here? And she made the comment. Um, she said, how long have we not been here? They've been there all year. And I realized that we do have struggles, but we have it a lot easier than some. You can all agree just that we can't thank Make-A-Wish enough. I mean, like I said, never in our wildest dreams um, did we imagine this. And like you said, how quickly they moved on that and just the support and they reach out regularly just to ask how ASIN is doing. And it's it's been amazing and I just think of every family out there who's been granted wishes and every family out there who will get a wish. Every child who gets their wish, their wish comes true. It's like, who could ask for more? Joining us again, Amanda Gottfried from Make-A-Wish North Dakota. <laughs> At least you're going to make me cry. <laughs> and Asen's mom, Alicia Huck, who does happen to be a news anchor here at KX News. So first of all, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having thank me. Thank you for being here, yes. I mean, it is pretty um, fun to get to talk to someone who has received a wish and see that impact and that it has made and the timing of how the wish is received and granted. Um, Catch us up on how Ace is doing today. You had mentioned uh, when we talked earlier about making not milestones, but inch stones. Exactly, and inch stones he's making. I mean, um, the seizures, he was having upwards of, of 10 plus drop seizures an hour. Um, and now he's maybe having five a week. And so it's been amazing, uh, the, the type of seizures that it's taken care of, which was what the intentions were. And so, you know, we just still making those inch stones with the fatigue and everything that might come with it. But uh, the seizures were the biggest, biggest piece that. Uh, so awesome. 
Well, and that surgery, as you mentioned, a 10-hour surgery. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that that's, I can't imagine what that is like <laughs> as the mom to be sitting there in the waiting room and everything like that. What has life been like since returning home from a successful surgery? You know, um, these last weeks have been, we're really, as you heard, um, his squealing. He's really letting us hear his voice right now. And I'm having these conversations with him and like, what do you really think? And I just get the, <laughs> the squeals and I'm loving, we, we just love to see that. Um, we still have some challenges, like I said, but um, just the fact that he can, he butt scoots and now he can butt scoot without having drop after drop because he wanted to so badly while he was having the seizures he'd get mad at us because let me go i want to go but it was too dangerous and now we still have to be there because he you know still on occasion but wow it's been a world of change well we are just honored to get to follow along with your family's journey and to have seen such a beautiful wish come true <laughs> now we just need the weather to cooperate <laughs> yeah, so you can get out and enjoy so the we can exactly. go out and on that pontoon and thank you alicia and amanda mm -hmm. once again for being with thank us thank you